the Karazi minigame. Perhaps one of the most overlooked pieces of content Spawn PK still has nowadays. With strange mobs and a weird PvP-like environment, not a lot of players still do this actual minigame. But there are a lot of treasures to be found on this island. And I want to know how much profit I can actually make while doing the Karazi minigame all by myself. Today we'll be camping out the minigame for 5 hours straight, seeing how much profit per hour we can make from all those hidden treasures. Alright then ladies and gentlemen, the Karazi minigame. I hope you enjoyed that little intro I made for you guys. Put a lot of work into that one. But today we'll be taking a look at the Karazi minigame, something that has been dead, dare I say, slash near dead for a long, long time now. Um, very, very little people still do it, because the rewards aren't all that amazing anymore. And at the same time, it's just something so obsolete. The only people I ever see doing the Karazi minigame is for the daily. So what I wanted to do today was see how long it would take me to earn, let's say, 50 bill from the Karazi minigame. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but it basically comes down to two main money making methods and a third one that is very unreliable. Alright then old me, let me just interrupt you there real quick. First of all, halfway during the video I decided to change my mind and I went from trying to get 50 bill and seeing how long it takes to doing a loot from 5 hours because I especially got more efficient during the later hours after around 2 hours. I really started speeding up and getting some tactics and strategics down. Other than that, the old me is way too boring and he talks for like 5 minutes straight which is just completely unnecessary. So let's just skip away to what the giveaways are going to be for this video and then start rolling the clips because we have plenty of time for commentary during that. Anyway, let's uh, let's go. We have a $45 bond for this giveaway. All you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below and turn on the post notifications. If you've done all of that, you enter the giveaway. Uh, if you're new to Spawn PK, you want to try out the game for yourself, use the link in the description as it helps me out a ton as, as well. And with that being said, let's see if we can make 50 billion cash from browsing minigame. Alright then, so one more thing I really need to clarify is that uh, I will have a starter setup in Karazi. This is not gonna be like from scratch in Karazi. I already have quite a good setup, some decent gear and shit. And if you wanna do this, then I recommend you make some preparations for that first. I'm gonna start the time now and teleport straight into the Karazi. Already started three seconds now, four, five. Right, we're gonna go to money making, I think. Medium, nope, hard. And then do the jungle demon one. Teleport, that's a good way of getting there. You have to have nothing on you at all, so no pets, no gear, nothing. And you preferably want to drop the junk before you get into combat, because once fight starts, you can't do anything anymore. Anyway, like I said, I have a quite a bunch of shit in my uh, little thingy right here. We're gonna grab a little bit of trading sticks, because I do want to kill the jungle demon every time I'm inside of the event. A little bit of uh, crumb bombs and some blood money. So one rule I'm going to set in doing this, before I die actually, Jesus Christ, is um, that I must have at least a thousand trading sticks in my storage chest before I can take out any items in order to, you know, transfer them into real GPs. The reason I want to make that rule is because 1k trading sticks is like half of the gloves and uh, I think it's a bit too much of a head start on this whole thing. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, let's just see how this goes. I'm just gonna start grinding now. I'll record everything and I'll pick the best moments out of it to put into the video. Here's that little jungle spider I showed you guys earlier. I do believe these drops in the boots. Or not, it's the cape. One in a hundred for the cape. Alright, and it drops trading sticks of course. We're gonna need a bunch of those. Alright then guys, I'm just going to commentate as I watch the clips with you guys and tell you what's up. Starting this, I had one simple strategy in my mind which was just collect as much blood money and trading sticks as I possibly can. So I really wanted to go out and hunt as many monsters as possible. And I think where I messed up in my first like two hours of doing Karazi in general was killing the jungle demon and I did this quite a bit in those two hours. But to be realistic, this cost me a lot of time. Uh, the jungle team takes a while to kill on its own, but 
there just isn't a lot of merit to it. Obviously, you can get the Sun Spear, but it's such a small chance that you're you're really gambling on it to come true for you. You know, if that makes sense. So, it, it yeah, I don't know. I I feel like it went a lot smoother once I stopped doing that, like during the later hours after the first break, which what is around two hours in, and. Uh, I stopped doing that and I only went to the, to the little separate island. You can go there by the boat for 50 training sticks. So first of all, I didn't want to go there too often to spare myself the 50 sticks. And second of all, I just... Uh, there were a lot less spawns on the island. So only going there once in a while when I made sure a lot of spawns had stocked up would be the best choice for me. Obviously, you could kill some specific mobs in there like the uh, Nacreal I killed in that other clip for the Rune Boots. And even Dragon Boots, very small chance. However, getting more stat upgrades was such a minimal plus for me. And I was not betting on the fact that I could get a Sun Spear. So I kind of neglected that for the general most part of uh, the video, like the second half at least. But yeah, I definitely hunted as many as I could of those red little mages. Because they always drop 5 block money and they have a rare chance of dropping 50 block money as well. So those were definitely something I was looking out for. Block money was probably the way I wanted to go for the majority of the profit. And you have to get really lucky on opening chests and what items you get, things like that. And of course I also wanted to hunt those uh, jungle titans that you see in some of the clips. And if I saw a dragon I would kill it as well. But like I said, I didn't go to the island a whole lot in the second half of the video. So, most of the dragon clips and stuff like that were in uh, these first half. We're already over an hour in now and it was looking pretty good. The progress was steady, but I was definitely noticing the fact that I was already an hour in, but not a lot has changed. I mean, obviously there is that small chance of getting one of the item drops from the monsters, but big spoiler, in those 5 hours I've done, I got 0 of them. So, that was definitely disappointing. No capes from the spiders, no drops from the titans. Nothing like that. I did see two rare drops, but you'll see that in just a bit. But first, we have some live commentary. Alright, it's basically been two hours. I'm just gonna finish off this little roll <clears throat> and then dump all my shit into the chest and continue tomorrow. Oh, there's a jungle titan right there. I do want to kill that one. That's for sure. Probably better to keep my distance and range it. Don't have the most arrows, but it will make do. That way I have a good reason to drink my last uh, raging potion. Finish off opening a few more chests and then call it quits. But so far the trading sticks and the block money are looking really, really good. I don't think it's gonna take much longer, probably one or two hours. And then I should have enough to buy everything in one go. Same with the purple sweets and the block money, trading sticks. So now we have 2500 training sticks already, so I only need uh, 900 more to buy Karamji Gloss and then have a leftover 1000 that I said I needed. And for the Blood Money we already have 2 Karasi pieces, so that together would be like 30 billish. So we would only need another 20 on top of that. But hopefully we can see one uh, lucky drop l sooner or later, preferably like a uh, Karasi Cape. Something that just sells for a lot, you know? Boy, we'll have to get lucky next time. I'm gonna pause the timer right now. I think we're done. 2 hours and 4 minutes on my timer, 46 seconds. So yeah, stored everything, I think. It's a bit of a shame with all the potions. We were doing really good, but I really need to uh, call it quits for tonight. But yeah, we'll continue tomorrow and it should be maybe 1 or 2 more hours and I think we can nail that. Yeah. Alright then, new day, time to continue the grind in the Karazi minigame. Uh, let's go again, I'm gonna start the timer right now. 2 minutes, uh, two hours, 4 minutes, 46 seconds is where we started from last time. And I'm gonna have to holla to a point where I can bank my shit. I'm at the Shala village. I completely forgot this existed. How do you get here and fall? So yeah, like after my break I quickly geared up and I just had to hunt chests first again for a little bit to ensure that I had everything that I really needed. Started hunting mobs on the way such as the druids and all of that other good stuff, the blood shamans I mean, as well as the druids. I found both 
Uh, especially later on I found a lot of more druids than I did in the first few hours. And of course continued to hunt titans and all of the other good stuff. But uh, yeah, we hadn't seen any rares up until this point. I think the first one is coming up very quickly here. Might be one of the next clips, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think it might be this one. Nope, still not. Okay, well, I just had to keep hunting and I really wanted to hunt spiders. They are really annoying due to the fact that they drain your run energy, but I had to deal with that. I got a little initiate, init, initiate plate legs, cuse or something, from the uh, Anku kill. And I decided to go with those over my granite legs due to the fact that they gave more prayer bonus. Uh, I really wanted to conserve prayer because, you know, you have to pray for a lot of mobs and finding prayer potions can be a pain in the ass, so kind of skipped out on that one. Wanted the extra prayer bonus. And here is the first rare drop, 50 blood money from a blood shaman. Was really happy with that because I was already two and a half hours in at this point, well almost. And the fact that I hadn't seen any rare yet, I was, I was taking the 50 block money. That's half a Karazi boost, man. Fucking progress. Normally they only drop 5 a, at a time, so getting 10 of those drops in one go is a huge plus, of course. But yeah, I just um, kept running around the island uh, this time around, mainly around the uh, main island, so to say. And uh, I tried to open as many chests as I could and kill anything in between the chests on my way. I just had a pattern where I opened all the chests in a certain uh, order. I kind of skipped the one that's completely on the northwestern side of the island because it's just a really, really long walk and it wasn't worth one chest open. Um, I had to conserve my run energy so I didn't want to walk all that way for one chest when on the main island I could find two or three below that. So that went, was a bit more uh, efficient. Killed a few more dragons but I didn't see any drops from those either. Uh, especially later on rune arrows started to become really rare for me, I couldn't get anything and during this uh, after break session I was walking for hours and I mean hours without a super combat pot. I just could not get one for the life of me which was really annoying. I have a few uh, break points in between right here at almost three and a half hours in. 3600 trading sticks so enough for the crunchy gloves and enough blood money to buy three pieces already. So now we were finally looking at some actual profit, but this was kind of the point in time where I decided, okay, fuck 50 bill, I'm, I'm doing it way more efficient now, it's way better if I just go for full 5 hours and make a bit more money on top of that, because like, uh, like what was that, 35, 40 bill in nearly 4 hours or 3 and a half, just wasn't really working out for me, I figured let's go for 5 hours and see if I can near double that in that little bit of extra time. So that's what I decided to do, but nothing too eventful happened. Here we have one more Blood Shaman clip, I think this was the second rare drop I got. Another 50 bonus blood money. Was very happy with that, but that was the last rare drop, nothing else happened. And here comes more live commentary. Alright and ladies and gentlemen, let's switch over to the live commentary right here. We have 1 minute and 18 seconds, like 15 seconds now. Uh, left until the uh, thingy is done. I didn't expect more red spider eggs. I do want to note those. I am going to be, uh, when the timer stops, trading over a bunch of supplies to my alt account. Just for the future, I want to have a second account set up with supplies. Because I think I want to revisit this in the future and then just try to improve upon these 5 hours by tons. I need to find one of those dudes that can note my items. Right there. But actually I don't think this was all too bad, I mean, the profit per hour isn't anything too amazing, however, it's a lot of fun, it's a change of pace, doing something something you don't usually do. You are currently at almost 1300 blood money, with the one in my inventory it's probably 1300. So that's a pretty good amount of profit to be honest, that gets me 5 pieces I do believe. So that wouldn't be bad at all to be honest. And yeah, we only have 15 seconds left, so I'm gonna round off everything right here and kill one more, uh, or open one more chest. Don't have enough time to kill that little druid over there. Pick up the manta ray as well, and I'm just gonna call it quits. And now that is the 5 hour mark. Jesus Christ, what a journey it was. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, teleport my alt in here as well. So we're gonna see how much we actually... Oh wow, you can't actually... <laughs> you can only have one IP address in the Karazi minigame at a time. That's... Hmm. Didn't think about that. 
Oh well, too bad. Um, I'll just have to ditch all the supplies, basically. It's a shame you can't increase it more than this. But not much I can do about it right now. Ah, oh, man, what a rip. I really didn't want to waste all those supplies. Gonna have to get them back from scratch the next time I enter, but... Oh well. Unlucky. Maybe I should have asked a friend or something, but I really cannot be asked. Gonna bank all my items and then draw out our profits from uh, the stores in the, sh in the uh, minigame. Bank all of my items. Took a while to get those uh, rune arrows. Took a long, long time to find those. Yeah, that's gonna be about it. It's, oh man, it's such a shame that I have to lose so many supplies. Really wish I could have had an alt in here. Anyway, uh, about the trading sticks, we can... They technically buy two, uh, what's it called, gloves, but like I said, I want to have at least 1,000 spare in my bank. So we can only buy one pair, which still isn't too bad. We were very close to getting a second one, but apparently getting sticks like this is a pretty slow grind. And then we have the blood money. Obviously, five hours, we got really unlucky with uh, getting any rare drops. We didn't really see anything, to be honest. Uh, but you can't always be too lucky. I mean, would have been nice if a spider would have dropped a cape or one of the titans drop a piece, but this is about it for this one. And uh, let's say about 8.5 bill per piece that are the current prices in the TP. So if we do a quick calculation, actually, I'm gonna teleport out first after I bank, bank my blood money because uh, it is dangerous in here. Wouldn't want to die for this. Put this away. And that's gonna be it. Let's teleport out and see how much we made. So we got five Karazi pieces and a Karamja Gloss 3. So let's do five times 8.5 bill. And then add, let's see how much the Karamja Gloss are worth at the moment. We'll probably still keep it in for 20 bill and wait until it sells. Yeah, 17, 17.9. So we'll add it at 17. Giving us a grand total of 59.5 bill. <laughs> so only about 10 bill an hour, which is not that great but I think it could could be improved quite a bit depending on how you play it like for example let's say you went in with a friend of yours and you started doing it like one person scans the island consistently and the other one does the mainland consistently you would definitely see some good profits over time and you know play it strategically I also wasted a lot of time in the first two hours I never should have uh, camped the jungle demons so much and consistently run around that small little island because once I stopped doing that I made a lot more profits, I found a lot more mobs, I checked the island every once in a while just to see if any titans had spawned in there or jungle dragons, something that could actually drop something good. But we didn't get any luck on that unfortunately but we still made a very nice amount of money and I really enjoyed it, I mean I can understand why it's dead content but you could for example just camp it for the uh, sun spear consistently do the jungle demon and just hope you get lucky on that one or maybe get luckier than me in uh, one of the average drops if you get a cape or one of the karazi pieces it obviously adds like a few bill per hour in comparison to this but unfortunately we didn't anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this one definitely took hail long i didn't bang my room gloves no why why that's such a rip dude Stupid. But not much I can do about it. <laughs> Gonna have to get new ones uh, of those in the minigame. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. It took me a long time to make. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Metal Raymond out.